All right, guys, what's going on? Thompson back, another video. We're about to go to the gym. Got a heavy squat day today. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon, but I don't cover too much of what I eat on this channel. Like I don't show everybody, this is my meal. This is meal number one, number two, but I'm gonna talk about it right here real quick. What you see here is seven full eggs, red meat, that's taco meat, ground beef basically, and vitamin D milk. Boys, those are the power foods. Those are the three that get you jacked and absolutely stacked right there. Now, chicken and rice, you know, it has its time and place. It's protein, you know. Rice is a good source of carbs. I really don't care about, you know, the source of carbs so much. Come on, camera. There we go. We got some light now. Don't really care too much about where I get my carbs from. I try to get it from fruit, from rice, from oatmeal mostly. And then this is your pure power food right there, boys. I fast through the day. I just eat super high fat and protein diet at night. So that's pretty much what I just want to show you guys. That's my staple. Eight eggs every day. Seven, eight eggs. Red meat, vitamin D milk. Pure power. We're going to eat power to be power, boys. Let's go. All right, fellas. So I... Lately, I've been feeling like an absolute water buffalo. Just these past couple days, I've been trying to eat as much as possible because, as you guys seen in the last video, I hit that 315 bench, and uh, I was trying to eat as much as I possibly could the days before that. And then last night, after I hit the 315 bench, I wanted to keep my fatness, so to say, you know, just because I got a squat. And squat and bench are the two lifts that, you know, being full, being strong, that's really gonna matter the most. Like you don't wanna be losing weight, even if it's water for those two lifts. Um, sometimes it doesn't matter as much, but I just wanna you know, make sure I have the best possible chance of hitting this heavy squat today. So we're going low bar. Um, and then we have back offs four by six at 4.30. No matter what, that's the thing though, boys. We gotta PR this workout, whether it's a one rep max or a volume PR. PJ, what are you doing today? Squat, deadlift. I go for PR. PJ's gonna max out. What's your max squat right now? I'd guess probably four thirty. But no, but you hit. Would you hit before four fifteen? Your max or four ten? Four five. I think I'll oh, go. Oh, four or five. So PJ's gonna go for one probably. Deadlift or squat? We'll see. We're gonna get in there. We're gonna get warming up, and we're gonna see what we can hit. So here we go.
right guys so that was the workout basically you boys seen it another squat pr 545 hit all my big goals hit my 700 deadlift surpassed that very easily hit that hit my 315 bench yesterday hit my 545 squat today those are my big like uh current goals we smashed all of them boys dialed in the training lately exosterone is probably fucking helping a little bit but you know everything's just progress progress all the volume progress you know you know each week i switch off between high bar and low bar trying to add five to ten pounds per session we've been perfect with that four by six tonight with the fourth with 430 lifetime volume pr you know we're gonna try to build that up to 455 and so on and so forth we're gonna keep pushing as long as we can you know the close stance good mornings uh stiff legged more low back low back needs to come up it's my limiting factor right now it's just spinal erectors in general um hitting that doing some heavy cheat rolls back to rolling four days a week talk about that on my instagram a little bit pull-ups things like that just constant progress boys the bench press department you know a lot more direct tricep work a lot more staying in the pocket just small volume prs and it's leading to the big prs fellas also eating a ton right now weighing 220 bigger than uh Biggest, leanest, biggest I've ever been for sure, but that just comes with time and consistency and things like that. So follows, we're just gonna keep pushing the limits. And coming up here soon now, since I hit all my PRs, my plan was to hit, do a 48 hour fast. Gonna plan to do that next week, um, these coming weeks. So guys, stay tuned for that. We're gonna do a 48 hour fast. Shred off, a little bit of fat, a lot of water. Just look aesthetic as hell. It's gonna be a good reset because I've been eating like a hog recently. I just kind of feel like, lethargic from it like i was saying at the beginning of the video kind of feel like like a water buffalo a little bit boys but and the thing is fellas we're not done this is just you know this is just some milestones that i've been chasing after for a very long time ever since i started lifting when i hit 350 on a bench the 545 squat 700 deadlift now we're just going to keep pushing for more and more boys we're going to see what we can do you know only 22 years old right now and uh I think I, right now if I go to the platform and perform a sumo deadlift and lock it all, everything, you know, everything perfect like that, just got to do more than 722. That's the national record for the 100 kg or uh, USA PL or USA PA um, where they use the deadlift bar. That's the national record. But I got, you know, I got a whole year left as a junior lifter. And uh, we're just going to keep pushing, see how strong we can possibly get we're just gonna stay grinding boys so thanks for watching comment rate subscribe a lot more informative videos coming in here soon lately not just vlogs and things like that so subscribe to the channel boys see you guys next time